Right. Got to experience the joy of Windows updates. Data pick, ammunition, portable bedies. Nothing particularly interesting. Hmm. I don't actually recall the message anymore. I can't believe this. Here you are, one of the consortium's most advanced killing machines, and you've locked yourself in a broom closet? <laughs> no wonder we're losing this war. Try typing in 176 on the keypad. Shepard out. What would be the purpose of this type of uh, location in the first place? You always have a way to unlock things from the inside. It's, it's basic security. There are other basic safety procedures so you don't accidentally get blocked out in, in a location where you might end up uh, getting yourself killed. Like this one of heavy weapon users again. At least one guy just camping here. Right. Okay, why is there no one here now? So when that asshole gets triggered, we're dead pretty much, unless we can kill it quickly. Quick load. Warning. Entering high radiation area. Enter at your own risk. Rebel gone. Went better than expected. I was pretty sure I was gonna take some health damage out of this, but no. entry. Thank you. Area secure. Code red terminated. Ammunition for the wrong weapon. Also, I'm not getting all that much energy anymore. Quick save. I'll have to be a little bit more careful with the shields. 
Ah, uh, six cubes anymore. The trend isn't exactly going up with those. The entire purpose of this place was to just what? Have the android here? Mm, we could go down there. Is there a point to going down there though? It's like a radiation area. Not like it's too bad, we can easily restore the health, for example. Huh. And destroy these. So what the hell could I destroy the one? Only took down some shields, not sure where those shields are though. Yeah, nothing to do with these two. Although it might have something to do with the other, I suppose. We didn't suffer too badly from this, and health restoration is trivial. Still don't understand what the hell the re reactors here are powering. I'm gonna walk in there and see what's, what's actually there. Cameras, maybe? Now there's a minefield. You can't come in here! Energy. Mind if I get some? Uh, any way to lure that guy out of his position? He's not gonna walk into the minefield, I don't think. So, any other way to kill him? Don't have a huge amount of ammo. Okay, actually this is this is fine. Yeah, I took a little bit of damage out of that, but it's uh, health damage. Again, something I can trivially store to full at this point. Quick save. 
don't see any kind of a problem here. Generators. Turret is tracking me. So it's not uh, trying to do anything clever. Not trying to go from side to side. Just shoot at me. I, I can't target it. Quick load. <sighs> I, I. Yeah, that's so fucking aggravating. I'm aiming directly at it, but of course there's a robot, so I can't actually do that. Because the robot that is inactive and uh, inside a force field has to be the uh, priority target for some reason. The further away robot that's inside a force field that's inactive. Like, not just one, but everything sort of says that it should not be where the auto-aim focuses on. Well, that's not good. I took a little bit of inner shield damage, nothing too serious. What the hell are you aiming at? Yeah, I can't shoot at the fucking generators here, because either we're shooting at the robot inside the shield, or we're shooting at some kind of faraway target that I have no idea what the hell am I shooting at. What caused the alarm? I think it's the civilian there. He's going for the alarm switch. I can't actually move from this location. Got me in a pretty bad spot. I do like the fact that the civilians are actually a bit more of a threat here. You know, sometimes they're not really, but they're often the reason why things go turn to shit. You ignore them because they're not the immediate threat usually. Do a goddamn thing again.
<clears throat> You're gonna spin out of there and cause me grief. Probably. Uh, medical restoration area to that right. Well, it could be a robot looking like that too, I suppose. Just a matter of time before that's going to happen. Wonderful. I think we'll still go there and see what, what they have in store for us. Okay, about half a dozen enemies. I would say... A little like around four shotgun machine gun guys, then there's the one heavy weapon dude at the center. Energy drain device. Uh, yeah, we'll just start picking them up one at a time. the energy drain device. Uh, we can destroy at least two of these guys fairly easily. There's just a lot of explosive grades there, so if I can just basically shoot at them in any way, they'll trigger chain reactions. Important enemies are all gone. Quick save. Quick Can't hit what I'm trying to hit. Gonna get the explosive containers. I think that guy should be going down first anyway. And I don't want to shoot the fucking guy, I want to shoot at the explosive containers because that's why I wouldn't have to be so vulnerable there. For some reason that's not allowed. I mean, I, I just can't shoot there. Every goddamn auto aim shoots at the guy, which is blocked by the pillars. Ah, it's so aggravating. I feel like there's probably a version of this game. I might have even played it, where there is a laser sight more or less. So not quite heavy of an auto aim, at least. For life of me, can't recall the name of the game. 
Right, so what exactly are we gonna do? I think we basically have to take care of the shotgun knife. Uh, the one on the right hand side. Uh, how? Doesn't really matter. Like we have a huge amount of options anyway. That opens up enough room that I can just uh, shoot at the uh, explosive containers. Quick save. I, not bad. Camera is the only real problem here. Not sure how much of a problem that even is. Suicide. Quick save. And just a lot of ammunition. Okay, any other threats? Key card. Um I don't recall getting a key card. I thought maybe one of these guys has a card. this switch for okay what is the key card then for ah uh, there's a uh, safe uh, usually these are fairly close to where you get them Some of the guys here could have had the key card too. If you destroy their inventory by exploding them, they will destroy the key card too. But there's no guarantee that that's the case. I'm gonna take a look around. The cars are usually fairly easy to spot. Only in very, very limited occasions are they hidden intentionally. Quick save. Okay. I have no idea how dangerous it is to go back at this stage. Try to eyeball a little bit if we can spot uh, what could be a key card. Or even a place that might hide one. Usually they're not exactly random. There's a little bit of a hint that there's something there. Or it's a uh, otherwise of a interesting location. Uh, there, on the on top of that uh, barrel, there's something there. Orange key card. Right. 
Though our reasoning was spot on this time. Fission battery, energy cube. We doubled our battery. Ah, oh, that's perfect. Actual damage reduction. The biggest benefit is that now the energy cubes restore a decent amount of energy. I think it's something like... Uh, it, it's percentage based anyway, I'm not sure. It's totally insignificant uh, when you don't uh, when you have the first battery. But we basically double it every time we get an upgrade to it. So now it's actually something useful. We might uh, also consider using energy weapons at times. So, oh! Very, very, very two important upgrades on this level. The shield and battery. And I have to say, the game has changed drastically in the feel after getting the, getting the just getting the shield. It's not like it we're invulnerable and don't die constantly, but there's actually there's at least fight. There there's at least some damage you can take. He's gonna kill himself. Right, there's one guy camping behind the reactor. This guy will just die on his own, I don't need to do anything. Why isn't this being destroyed? Is it shield? Enough. Yeah, that strange the shield quite quite rapidly. We'll have to bomb the energy drain device at least. Uh, there are two generators, one to the right, one to the left. Let's try spider mines. Why the fuck aren't you eating the generator? Uh, that's the immediate problem out of the way. Restoration. I don't want to get anywhere near that uh, reactor because the damage comes right through shields. Also, why the hell can't I just shoot at the generator, obviously? That's my obvious target. I don't want to shoot at the reactor. What's the point? I can damage it. I have no idea where the aim system wants me to shoot. Do I have to use a goddamn spider bomb to get a target that's so close and easy to hit? Just. Bullshit. As you play this much uh, single type of a game like this, you start to see the problems. Start to see what's wrong with the game. 
why it's not amazing where it, where it really needs to make changes doesn't make the game terrible every game has issues it's not even, you cannot make a game that is perfect in any every sense you have to make choices doesn't mean that every problem is just a consequence of a choice sometimes you can just do better uh, any other cameras so we destroyed one here but there's clearly another Let's see if the energy weapon heated Uh, we can. We're not wasting any ammo this way, so we might as well see what we can get. We hit something. Looked like uh, sounded like a generator. Not sure that it achieved much, but uh, it's welcome. Quick stay. And these have been activated again. Another generator. Mm, don't see any immediate threats here, so the camera needs to be taken care of. The spider mine there, don't see where it is. Quick save. Doesn't really matter even if it disappeared into nothingness. Still one. It's not much of a loss. Quick save. Okay, any cameras? Anything here? Need to time this. Really annoying sound. Let's go all that well. Still, our shield has held easily, and we can easily recharge it. So, I'm not sure why I should care. Attention Lunar Employees. Miss Canty Cantu Cantu has requested that valuables be kept in the floor safes to prevent pilferage. Nine eight four is the code for this room. Use it. Where's the Where's the safe?
Lovely. Was most by at my help. Again, why the fuck can't I see it? Card. Right, I want to check if there's something hidden on, uh, behind these. No, it doesn't look like it. I'm also fairly impressed with the damage the automatic shotgun does. Compared to the machine gun, you can just fire forever and get no real results. Right, uh, the shield will block the damage. More mine detonators. Might as well recharge our shield before moving forward. I feel like you you ha you should be able to do this in a better way. These games, both the previous one and this one, seem to be the hardest at the start of the game. And I don't think it's the inexperience there. Because I had the exam ex same experience in this game, even after just completing the first one. I think it's 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 how the defenses are structured. How the you basically are your weakest uh, in everything at the start of the game and the game doesn't drastically pick up in difficulty as you progress it does increase in difficulty but the increase is pitiful compared to the your defensive and offensive capability increases especially because it's so drastic like Against energy weapons, you're, you start at zero resistances. You just cannot block them. You will die if the enemy uses energy resistance and energy weapons, and that's there's no way around it. Two, the battery doesn't just get minor increases. It basically doubles with every upgrade. So you're just so fucking pathetic at the start of the game compared to how I am exactly at this level. My survivability has more than double with two upgrades, and it'll double again when I get extra energy. I have no idea what the extra shield does. It might have damage mitigation in addition to blocking damage. It's just the difference between how you start the game and how you are at the even halfway level, halfway point more or less, is just so goddamn drastic. So it turns the game from extremely difficult, I would say. Well, let's say hard to sort of casual to easy. Although their weapon increases are not to be dismissed, 
you die very easy, easily in the end game, but you also kill very easily. So I think it's hard, casual, and sort of slight difficulty increase again at the very last levels. So it's just weird. Usually you would think the game takes it easy on you at the start, not this game. And it's not like it doesn't necessarily take it easy on you, it just the defensive systems don't really properly work at the start. You you sort of have to just work through it for a few levels, then uh, it goes away totally. Our enemy is teleporting in. I want to get rid of the alarm. Well, it has its uh, uses, I guess. Why is that guy shooting at the turret? Ah, oh, because I can call it. Let the mouse aim be more accurate here. No. Yeah, a lot of automatic ooh, automatic triggers here. Since the alarm is already on, they don't they don't really matter. Single energy cube basically restores enough energy that was my entire energy supply before the battery upgrade. The alarm is still a pain to ask at the moment though, I can't deny that. I do need to get rid of it somehow. Ooh, rocket launchers. So I don't want to get rid of that alarm. Might not be that big of a deal. I mean, it's, it's something we can manage, but it can it complicates things. Let's put it that way. I'm terrible at spotting these.
Now we can destroy this. Nay, we must. How in the hell are you supposed to destroy this again? I destroyed it once. Why is it so hard now? Ugh, I didn't mean to do that. Perfect. Also, why the hell are the mines so effective against me? I want to get a better idea of where exactly the uh, floor trick, tri uh, for fuck's sake, floor plate is. I'm sure if we can jump over both of them at the same time. Right, I do need to get rid of the, this. Uh, no. Okay, actually the trap is not the problem, it's the alarm, and this way we all avoided the alarm. Okay, where exactly can I go here? And I lost all my energy, so I need to go back and recharge it. So, no. This isn't good enough. Stop right there, son. Good enough. There's another trigger here. Okay, here we have the turret and a couple of uh, guys, guards, standard issue guards, pretty much. Turret has to be taken care of first. Right. Camera is the biggest problem. Quick Quick I can't actually shoot the guy here. Right, the first shot will not reach him. Uh, I think the second shot will, so we might want to let him take his first shot first, then... No. I think this only applies to me again. There's a... Uh, that's in the way. 
No, it might work. Quick load. Yeah, we need to act a lot faster than that. Quick load. Yeah, not pretty, but we got there in the end. What the hell were these even powering? Access denied. Like we need to find some kind of a computer terminal. We opened the security door, but not exactly sure what we did, really. Uh, I'm gonna walk in there and see what they have waiting for us. A single threat. Any way to really distinguish it from the rest? I don't think so. We destroy the generators this time. No, the, the auto M tries to shoot at the explosive barrel there instead of the generator. <sighs> and we're very, very low on shotgun ammo. Find our his way to us eventually. Right now, the big problem. Quick save. 
Still mostly things are going just fine. Okay, how is this fire beneficial to me? And even if it, if it kills someone, uh, I just, I'm not gonna get any loot out of it, so it's somewhat pointless. Also, it doesn't seem to be ending all that easily. Okay, there's a camera up there. Not sure how big of a problem it is. Ah, those sons of bitches. I hate this uh, elevation difference fight. There's no telling on which way it'll go. I think when you are on the higher elevation we are always gonna have a problem but we're on, if you're on the lower elevation and a crouch then we're also gonna have a problem they'll basically hit me in the head while I can't shoot at them at all I'm hitting something just for the camera too Okay, good enough. Something that can destroy the turret fairly quickly. Quick load. <sighs> Problem there was that during my spin to the uh, try to dodge some shots. I also managed to somehow change the facing of my character. That's actually not fairly easy to do. Bullshit. Bullshit. Enemies uh, spawning right in your back. That's that's that is the most annoying thing. I mean, just have them have a teleport pad here where they actually teleport and then come after you. Hear the teleportation sound, so it'll give you a second or two to basically prepare for it. Switch. Uh, um, take a. Uh, take cover or something. The fact that they just randomly walk right from outside the screen where they clearly cannot possibly be that that's annoying. <laughs> and managed to waste so many rockets. Already coming at my rear or not? No, they'll wait until we get this far, and I'm already dying.
There is no possible fucking way for the guy to just walk in here. Yeah, you have a spider mind can, that can deal with it. Here's my issue with that. This should not be an issue in the first place. Spider mine is a solution to a problem that should have been just removed from the game entirely. More disruptors. How many do I have? Ten. So we might as well start sticking them into the tank. Plasma shield. How could you possibly not have the past plasma shield? Uh, well, it's not, I think, a mandatory mission objective to take the plasma shield. To open this to maybe utilize a bridge. Okay, we opened a security door, sure. Where? So what's the teleporter then? What's the direction I need to pro- oh, fuck it. 